UAH hockey starts next Friday. After a whirlwind of an offseason, including a revival of the program, the university, alumni, and advisory board announced a $17 million pledge to the program over the next 10 years. UAH Athletic Director Kate Smith says $17 million is just the bare minimum to survive. Charger alumni want the hockey program to thrive, so the fight to get UAH hockey on top of the hockey world continues. Finances, Smith says, is step one. Step two is getting into a new conference. Step three, getting a new multi-purpose facility. We're going to do whatever it takes to become relevant in college hockey. So if it takes more money, we're, we're going to get it done. I mean, that's how passionate and that's how serious we are about taking UAH hockey to the next level. Last year, UAH announced an executive plaza plan. The new facility would be part of that bigger development. The puck drops November 20th, and today the Western Collegiate Hockey Association announced their testing protocols for the players. Each team will have to test their guys three times per week during the season. For Way 31 Sports, I'm Lyndon Blake.